Welcome to another episode of the Accountability Series. Today is a Sunday, and when you are watching this, it's not a Sunday. <laughs> Sundays are a little bit of like a family day, but it's not like a strict thing with us because it really depends on the mood. And today we're gonna go to Ikea and we're gonna have lunch out. So I'm excited to go out with you guys. But first, we need food in the belly. Do 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 da 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 you always deserve to eat. Let's eat! Sunday is usually a restock day of all of the produce, all of the food, but it's also the lazy day for me where I really don't like to make or prepare or think about food whatsoever. Not for me! Except for her. Every, every day is make food day for Bai. So I have some bread and pimiento and then I have the leftover roasted chicken. That's breakfast. Lucky I even got some protein for breakfast. So we will be eating out later and I thought that it would be the perfect topic for today's vlog. How to prevent overeating when you eat out. And number one is to stick to a consistent meal pattern. It's so easy for us to think, oh, I'm gonna eat out. I'm just gonna skip all of my other meals so that I can eat more. But then that extra hunger often leads you to feel very uncomfortable and you're more likely to eat more than you actually want to when you're out. Whenever we go out, sometimes our meals get pushed back and sometimes we end up eating also less. You get so busy and you forget to eat. So you also have to plan for that. That's why having our first meal is so important because in case your schedule changes, you're locked down. I'm gonna wear these jeans, which I got from an ukai shop on Instagram. I'm gonna wear this corset top, which I got from Mina Luna on Instagram. I'm wearing IKEA blue. My you always deserve to eat necklace. These oval hoops. Sunscreen, can't forget it. Concealer, brow gel. This e.l.f. blush in Always Cheeky Mascara. Finishing off my accessories. Ta-da! For shoes, we are doing my high cut converse. For my bag, I've got this one over here. We got this from Katotubu Fair. The designer is Miguel Lasal. To show you a full view of my outfit, let's go. That is outfit. Let's go. We are at Ikea, we left dad at the cafe so we could go around because we're gonna have lunch later. So let's check it out. This is actually my very first time in Ikea, so I'm excited to see what it looks like. Oh, look at the colors! Because when you call something a cheat day, you're kind of saying that it's wrong. Cheaters never win. <laughs> and if you have to cheat on your diet, was it for you in the first place? You are likely going to eat out and order out more in the weekends because you want to switch from your regular routine. And that is okay. It doesn't have to be a whole cheat day about it and then you have to make up for it again during the weekday. Picking up our package. Hello. Hello. How are you? <laughs> You're here. Now, if you feel like you go too crazy during the weekends, it's good to assess your usual food. Sometimes we have this mentality of eat clean five days a week and then cheat day the last two. For lunch, we ate at Swagat. We actually used to eat here a lot when I was younger, but it now has a whole new look and a whole new swag to My it. My family loves Indian food, so we tend to eat at Indian restaurants. When eating out, one of the things we have to challenge is the last supper mindset. The whole, this is only gonna happen today, I'm never gonna eat this food again, I have to eat as much of it as I can, even if that means me feeling very uncomfortable. It's usually because we think that outside food is a cheap meal or that these types of foods are quote unquote bad. 
and by eating this we are ruining our diet so we have to make sure that when we ruin our diet it is worth it so that when we get back on monday it is clean eating and like we mentioned eating out doesn't have to be a whole cheat day or cheat meal thing it can be another meal that tastes a little bit different than your usual meals know that it doesn't have to be the only time that these things happen so enjoy your food until you're satisfied without guilt we're done eating we've gotten so much better at ordering before we would order so much food but we've wiped it out today i'm full but there's like still some space for dessert we are walking to the spotted pig for dessert It's already 4 p.m. It really happens when you are out with family and friends. You tend to eat more of a social event. You're more focused on talking to people and having fun. And that's perfectly fine. I am quite full. A little bit past comfortable fullness. Trying to get a little bit of walking to let it digest better. And then we're gonna head home. We are home. I am full but satisfied. One thing I do forget every time you eat out is to drink enough water throughout the day. So gotta stay hydrated. We're having some grapes. Also, I know that if I don't have something, even just small and light, I find myself getting super hungry by breakfast time. So this is kind of to help make sure I don't get too hungry when I wake up because I skipped a meal. You know what I'm saying? I am tired, but I gotta get unready. This is my favorite cleansing oil, which we got from Japan. Something we realized today is that we tend to overeat when eating out if there are so many options in the menu that we haven't tried. Like either we haven't eaten there before or we haven't eaten there in a while and there are just so many options to try. So you're likely gonna order a bunch of food, try everything and feel more full compared to if you go somewhere that you usually go to. You already know your order, you already know how much feels comfortable for you it becomes easier for you to navigate i think it's a really big learning for us because it shows us what to watch out for like if i'm gonna eat in a regular restaurant that we eat at like like foa or mama loose i have my regular order so when we eat there i know how much i'm gonna eat versus somewhere i want to try everything i'm more likely gonna feel uncomfortable plus we're gonna get dessert very helpful to help me understand my fullness levels better <laughs> gotta wash this off Today was a really fun day. Did some shopping and did some bonding. Core memory. Before we end this vlog, I just wanna share my final tip when it comes to eating out. As much as adding balance and being mindful is very important, for me, one of the most important things is to enjoy yourself. I can't remember the amount of times I skipped eating out with friends or, or was in constant stress eating out with family because all I was thinking was I shouldn't be eating this, why am I doing this, this is not allowed. And the truth is, eating out and having delicious food is part of life, it's going to happen. It's not about avoiding all of these situations, but about knowing how to be present in those experiences. Because you only life once, so let's do the best we can to make the most out of our experiences. I hope that you enjoyed, you learned, and I hope that we can keep on building habits together. Until the next video, you already know, you always deserve to eat. The video's over, but that doesn't mean you have to go. You can still subscribe or watch another video. Thanks for watching.